Oh. Nora Tut is an ordinary boy, trying to survive in extraordinary times. In his eight years of life, he has only known war, growing up in Syria. Now he has lost both his legs after a suspected cluster bomb hit his house. Nora explains he was in the street when he heard the cluster bomb and ran into his house for safety. It was there that he was hit. Nor has been battling to stay alive in this makeshift clinic. His father, Abdu Hatem, shows where the suspected cluster bomb hit his house. The damage to his home can clearly be seen. He explains that this is the rocket parachute that hit his son, a cluster bomb. These shoes were given to Noor days before an attack, which has robbed him so cruelly of the need for them. A charity gave these to him, and five days later the incident happened. He'd hardly warned them, his father says, and now he never will. Inside the house, there is no electricity. The family uses candles for light, and there is no fuel for the stove. This is where Noor hopes to return to. Noor's sisters cannot go to school, as the streets of Duma are too dangerous. This is normality for these siblings and many other children like them. After almost five years, there has been little progress made in helping those trapped in Syria's war. Noor's story is a shocking one, but not entirely out of the ordinary. He puts on a courageous show and wants the world to know about his injuries. He says, show the pictures of my legs and let my friends and their mothers know that I am injured. Defiant to get better, he remains a symbol of survival and courage in a war that offers so little hope.